Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a fun little video. I mean, I always have a fun time on this channel, so I hope you're buckled in and ready for a good time. We all know TikTok at this point, and we also all know that TikTok has some great things that come from it. There's also some not great things, but there are many great things, and one of the many great things are the life hacks and the recipes. I have found so many recipes that I love so dearly and are actually in my recipe repertoire for my weekly food that I eat. And I thought I would show you recipes that I have actually used and that I love and I think recipes that actually are worth your time. Because some of the recipes that people have posted are disgusting and I think they just do it for the views. So I thought we would show you a few of my iconic faves and staples. Now there are two that I'm not going to show but two that I genuinely love and we'll link still down below because they are so good number one is the lasagna soup if you've not had the lasagna soup have it it is so flipping delicious the other one i make all the time is the emily mariko salmon bowl i love that it's so simple yet so delicious and i wouldn't have known it if it wasn't for tiktok we're going to be doing a recipe first that is actually just to keep us fueled and ready for this day. We're gonna be doing the Dalgona coffee. Now I haven't actually done this in a while. This is more when I have guests coming round and I know they like coffee because I'm extra and I like to make sure that the people who I have coming over feel pampered. And one way to do that is with this Dalgona coffee. It is so simple, so easy. Apparently you can do this just in a bottle and you just like shake it up. It is annoying that you have to crack out an electric whisk every time you do it. But at the same time, worth it for the beverage. This recipe is so flippin' easy. It's just two tablespoons of everything. So two tablespoons of your instant coffee. And I truly believe in my heart that a fun drink makes everything better. If I have a chore to do, if I have something that I'm putting off, just like if you're having a bad day, if you make a fun drink, 100% it will give you a dopamine hit and just make you feel a little bit better and make your problems feel a bit smaller. Sugar, instant coffee. Then we go in with two tablespoons of boiling water. And then we just absolutely mix this mother of a man up. Yeah, that's it. Don't you know, pump it up. You've got to pump it up. I don't actually know the science behind this and it feels like a bit of a natural phenomenon to me, how this works. It's so clever. You basically get this gorgeous it's almost like a cake batter whipped frosty material material i don't know what you'd call that it's so great it's like kind of milkshakey i don't know how you describe that anyway get some cold milk i wonder if the same thing would happen if you did hot chocolate like if you did a mocha one. Oh, that could be good actually then we just spoon a bit of this on top of our milky mixture you see that it's like a caramelly coffee frappuccino-y it's so good oh my goodness look at that just give it a little can you see how lovely and creamy that is so this is my little beverage to keep me going now i'm not normally a coffee drinker but not bad right up next we're doing our breakfast to go with our little dalgona coffee sometimes i hate social media for all the things that it causes, all the pain, all the discomfort. However, sometimes I flipping love it. Like when I come across wonderful, simple things like this. So this is the pesto egg recipe. You take some pesto, put your frying pan on, pesto, egg. So our pan is nice and hot. Instead of using oil, you use pesto, because obviously pesto is a little bit oily anyway. But this just means that you get so much more flavor on your eggs so i'm just gonna smooth the pesto around and for some reason the pesto and the egg just work so well together they just are like the best of pals they actually told me they said grace can we please get best friend necklaces and i say guys you don't want to commit to that just yet because you haven't known each other long enough anyway so the pesto is in there you literally just smother it on the pan like that and then you literally just take your egg crack it onto the pesto, like that. And you just fry it, fry that egg. I'm gonna put the lid on so it cooks quicker. Leave it in there. Now here we are presented with a choice. You can flip your egg so it cooks on both sides or you can risk it. Depends 
why you like your yoke. This ain't no yoke around here. Oh yeah. See, I think that's perfect for me. It smells so good, it's so good. For some reason, it really reminds me of the Costa Pesto Mozzarella Basil Panini. It kind of, if you like that flavor, I guess it's because of the pesto, it works so well. And just slap it on a piece of toast. Gorgeous. And then you literally just pour that sucker right off, like that. And then you have your gorgeous little pesto eggy. You're supposed to have them on toast, but we've not actually got any bread at the moment. I'm waiting for the food shop to come. It is so simple, so effective. If you need like a quick, easy lunch, I feel like everyone always has a bit of pesto and eggs kicking around, don't you? I feel like there's always like a half used jar of pesto in a fridge. And that's, this is perfect to use it for. Gorgeous, stunning sims. Mm hmm It just works. Mm. That's so good. I don't know if you ever saw the feta pasta recipe, but up next we're gonna be making a version of this, which I have tried and is so flipping good. This is actually the boar sound version. I'm not a big feta lover. I'll take it, I'll have it with sweet potato. But like with sweet potato, for some reason I really like it. But baked, it just doesn't mean feta don't bite. Whereas boar sand, it's like a garlic and herb cream cheese. With this, you literally take your whole borsan, you then basically add whatever vegetables, whatever extras you like in your pasta. So I've washed some mushrooms there, go in with some tomatoes, I could probably go in with some onion, but I also cannot be bothered to peel an onion right now. Then you go in and you mince your garlic. Obviously, any good pasta needs a bit of garlic. Oh, that came out actually really helpfully. Go in with a bit of the old pepper salt and then a good old drizz of olive oil so we're going to put that in the oven for 15 minutes and whilst we are doing that we are going to cook our pasta have we not got any pasta stop it we must have pasta i always have pasta not to fret i knew i wouldn't let myself down we've got some whole wheat tagliatelle and you have four servings of this so Let's get that in. It's a bit of a shame because I feel like fusilli would have worked better. Fusilli pasta. It's so silly. Our pasta and our borsan have cooked gorgeously. So now it's literally as simple as stirring them all together and adding a bit of basil. Now it does look a bit questionable. I kind of wish I had some other bits to add. I feel like some olives, some pine nuts. But you know what? We're just going to go for this right now. We're just going to add that straight in. Add our basil. I feel like the good thing with this pasta is you can really make it your own. Like if there are other things that you want to add to it or if you have things going off in your fridge. I feel like spinach would work really beautifully in it. And then look, you have this really gorgeous creamy pasta and it literally took 15 minutes. I'm just gonna give her a little taste. It's so good. I mean, it doesn't look that appetizing, but I promise it is delicious. Well, there you go. We're kind of working through as if we're having meals. Had our drink with our brekkie, lunchtime, and I feel like we need to try a sweet treat now. You've seen my favorite recipes, but I thought we would try some of my favorite TikTok food creators recipes, because this recipe has come up on my timeline so many times, and I'm dubious, I do not trust it for love nor money, but we're gonna give it a go because a lot of my favorite TikTokers have said it's good. So we're gonna be making these chickpea cookie dough bar things. And it's basically bun everything in a blender. And apparently they're really yummy. But when I'm hearing the word chickpeas, yummy chocolate bar, something's not setting right with me. Also, it's very, very one of those like, you know, whole food sort of recipes. There's no flour, it's literally almond flour oats. I'm like, there's nothing wrong with flour, unless you're gluten free, obviously, then there's something wrong and you really should listen to that. But if this works, then I'm gonna be real happy. Chickpeas are great in protein, so if this is a good recipe, then I'm all here for it. Now, I'm also dubious about this recipe because it's a cup measurement recipe and we all know how I feel about cups. I don't love it, <laughs> but sometimes you just have to work with what you've got. Now, the recipe does call for coconut oil but I do not own coconut oil. So I am just gonna go with vegetable oil um, and hope that that doesn't affect it too much. I feel like no one has coconut oil these days, but maybe that's just me. Vanilla. 
I always feel like such a menace to society when I get this big knife out because it makes this noise. Oh, there we go. Half a cup of ground almond. I love ground almonds. This is the key ingredient. One can of drained, rinsed chickpeas going on in. And then it says half a cup to three quarter cup of coconut milk. I'm gonna start with half a cup because you can always add, but you can't take away. Oh, this is a healthy. Baking powder, baking soda. That's it, very simple. We just blitz it up. And then we go in with the most important thing of all. We go in with the chalky chips. Three quarter cup, oh, quite a lot of chalky chips. And then you just pop it in your square tin, pop it in the oven, bish bash bosh. We'll see you when it's cooked. Guys, I just got a whiff of it and it actually smells like, oh my gosh, it smells like bad breath. That is not what you want a batter to smell like. Oh, it's not good. Whilst our little chickpea bar bakes, we are gonna make one of my all time favorite TikTok recipe. This is called cowboy caviar. And I feel like hopefully you've seen this before and if not, I'm gonna put you on to it. So in here, we've got some sweet corn and some black beans. You just chop up loads of vegetables and it sounds like, how good could that be? But it's kind of, in my opinion, it's like an elevated guacamole. It's so flipping good and you have it with a little tortilla chip. It kind of tastes like a burrito bowl. And then you just keep it in the fridge for when you get a little bit peckish. Now you are supposed to use a proper big tomato, but I didn't have that. So what's the motto for the year, everyone? Adapt and overcome. You're so right. Tomatoes in. It's really weird being sat down chopping. Normally I'm stood up over the kitchen counter. This feels really weird. Pepper. How satisfying was that? The peeling of that avocado. Red onion going in there. Then we get our little lime. Always give your lime a little roll and you get more juice out of it. Now I know this divides people, the old coriander, but I literally love coriander so i'm just going to go really quite heavy with the coriander actually we go in with a good old glug of olive oil and then you just season it with your salt and pepper and that is how simple it is it's just so fresh and zingy it just hit the spot for me it's like i would call it a burrito dip oh my gosh it's so good i'm so excited to eat this i feel like i could eat it I'm getting so excited that I'm losing my words. Morning, noon and night I could eat this. I'm here with my bowl of cowboy caviar. And then you just get your little tortillas. Here we go. Mmm. It just never fails to be amazing. If you are gonna make this, the tortillas are a key part of this. I think the salt and the crunch is what works really well with all the fresh ingredients. Our chickpea bar is done. It's a little bit overcooked. I took it out 20 minutes early. It's quite brown. It's quite dark, even with me taking it out 20 minutes early. But it still does feel nice and soft in the middle, so that's good. It looks pretty good, you know, guys. I feel like that looks like almost a cookie dough bar. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's not my vibe. I'm sorry. You can definitely taste the chickpeas. It just has a weird texture. It kind of resembles bread and butter pudding to me. I won't be making that again. I feel a bit disappointed and let down. It's rank. It's not very good at all. But I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Please check out the recipes down below if you want. Comment your favourite TikTok recipes because I would love to know. I love you all so stinking much, all right? And don't you forget it. And don't get it twisted, okay? I love you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out, punks.